Hi everyone, welcome to another video from me, Jason, at Screen Photographic. Hope you're doing well. Uh, and apologies, I haven't um, been on this channel too much uh, recently. Uh, I've been doing lots of images and I've also started selling or trying to sell images uh, through various stock platforms, which is what this video is going to be about today. Uh, now, I've only recently started doing this within the last two or three weeks uh, and haven't actually sold any images as yet. Um, but I thought I just wanted to share my early experiences with you um, on each platform, uh, go through the platforms, tell you what they are and, and how they work and, and kind of the content. And, and the first one I want to start with is probably the easiest to get an image uploaded on. And that's a site called Alamy. Uh, now, for those of you who don't know what a stock image is, uh, it's where you can upload an image uh, online for uh, somebody to buy and, and they can use it for whatever purpose they want to do so. So that might be... Uh, a magazine article, for example, a web graphic, um, maybe something they're doing on social media, um, maybe they need an image for an art project, anything at all. Uh, and the uh, price is set by the um, stock image company. Um, so they uh, set a price you know, per image, uh, per bulk of downloads, and once an image is sold, they then take a cut. And you as a creative, uh, as a photographer, will also get a percentage as well. So that's what way bring some passive income. Um, and you can probably make a decent amount of money if you've got enough photos and enough time to upload. Uh, so going back to Alamy, this is probably the easiest one to get an image uploaded on. Uh, the image needs to be sharp and in focus. Uh, and when you upload onto Alamy, you need to assign a batch name. Now you can leave that as the default one that they give you. Um, I would recommend that you give it a name where you can find the image again quite quickly, particularly if you're going to be uploading thousands of images or hundreds of images onto the site. Alamy then has a QC process and it's explained on their website just how this works. So they will then go through each image submitted uh, and then learn mark off set criteria, which I believe you can find on the website. And if it passes the criteria, then you go on to the next stage. So it sends you an email or it sends you a message uh, and you can add keywords. Uh, now, the important thing to remember with the keywords is that's how somebody will find your image uh, on the service. Uh, and what I'll do, I'll, I'll jump in at the end of the video uh, and I'll show you um, my dashboard on Alamy. Uh, and I'll also show you how you can um, add those keywords to an image once one is uploaded um, and, and, and how you can go about adding and getting that more noticeable and how it works. So a few things, if you are featuring people, you'll always need to have a release to hand. Alamy won't ask for that um, originally, um, but they could ask for it if that image is sold. Uh, and the second point I want to make as well is that if you're um, photographing reportage or news, then you have to add the image in a title in a certain way. And that will be the same for Shutterstock and I believe that's the way for Adobe Stock. Um, their QA process takes roughly three or four days um, to turn around um, and they come back to you um, fairly quickly to add those keywords, um, tag the image away that you need to do so and get it finalised up on site for people to buy and purchase when they're searching for it. And the second one is Shutterstock and to be fair they will accept they claim they accept most images but I'm finding that I'm having the most issues with Shutterstock. Um, they seem very, very particular on the type of image that they let onto the website. And I don't mean that type of, of, of what the subject matter of the image is, um, but by how it's, it's put together. So a basic image, if it's not maybe bright enough, they'll reject it. Um, if maybe it's got some kind of filmic module in editing, they'll um, reject it. So it needs to be quite a pure image. Um, however, having said that, I don't know how they set their criteria. And I think it depends on your level on the website because I'm finding that people who've got images with maybe film grain on or um, perhaps noise because I've shot a, a live event, for example, a rock concert where the lighting maybe isn't great, uh, are still getting their images passed through, um, but they're being rejected on um, or, or similar images that I've taken, for example, will be rejected. Um, it's hard to get the grips because I don't really explain why the image is rejected and some of the um, reasons they come up with are, are quite spurious. Um, I'm starting to lean away from Shutterstock already. Um, it is a very, very populated service and I'm finding it very, very difficult to get images, even the ones that meet the criteria that they claim on their website, pass through their QA. Um, but very similar to Alamy. Um, they work on a faster turnaround time. However, you can usually get an image um 
QC'd and and and, and the approval or, or the rejection back um, within minutes sometimes, um, but certainly within a couple of hours. Um, and it allows you to again add tags uh, and again add titles and, and ways that you can find the image. And the last one's pretty good. The last one is Adobe stock, and of course it's Adobe who run um, Photoshop uh, and Lightroom and, and all the other Adobe software, Dreamweaver and everything like that. Um, now if you've got an Adobe ID and you're either a photographer or uh, an illustrator or a graphic designer, fantastic. Get yourself on Adobe stock. Um, again, just like the other two, there's a very, very easy process. You simply upload an image. Um, but Adobe stock works slightly differently. So when you upload the image, you can then batch it up with other ones straight away or assign your keywords at the point of upload rather than having for the image to be QC'd. Um, assigning a title and then getting the image onto the platform. Uh, they do have a, a longer turnaround time, which they say on their website is about a week, and I'm finding that to be quite um, quite accurate. Um, now with um, Adobe Stock as well, uh, I'm finding the images that I've had rejected on Shutterstock are being accepted by Adobe Stock. Um, it does seem a lot fairer and it does seem a lot easier to get these images um, onto the platform as well. Uh, they'll allow you to have pictures of um, models, people, as long as you have a release form. Uh, if it was, for example, something like a street shoot, as long as you upload it at editorial in a certain date and time format, which tends to be agreed um, across sites such as Reuters and Shutterstock and Adobe and, and, and all the other ones, um, that must be an industry wide thing, then you have no problems getting your images up on site, and I recommend that you do that. Uh, now, I believe it's slightly different for illustrations because essentially you're creating all of the content from scratch, or you're using elements of other content. Um, but I must admit, I've never uploaded any kind of graphic design work. Um, please leave a comment if, if I'm incorrect on there. Uh, now, I also want to quickly just go back to um, to Shutterstock as well. Um, their forums are very good. So once you are getting images rejected, there is always help on hand. Um, although, as I said earlier, it is hard to get images on there. So you seem to have a tighter, uh, tighter, um, tighter rain on things, if you like. Um, I mean, in terms of the images, the process is quite easy. It's literally a case of just signing up to the website, following the instructions. It doesn't cost you anything to use. Um, you'll never have to pay any money to use Shutterstock, Alamy, Adobe Stock, or any other stock websites out there. Sin for music photography. Um, but it, once somebody purchases one of your images, um, you'll fit in with the pricing structure. That's explained on the website. So for some, you can make me a penny. So some, you can make 20 or 30 pounds. Uh, I believe Alamy, um, you'll probably make the most money from in terms of a single download or single use of the image, um, but you won't get many downloads of it. Or Shutterstock and Adobe Stock, that tends to be more um, more continual. So you can upload an image, maybe get a few downloads in a few months down the line. It'll also be downloading constantly through days, months, years as people find the image and, and as they need to do it. Um, but you'll get me a penny, so it's, it's a service that's not really going to make you rich, but there are people on there who um, do make some money from um, stock imagery uh, with thousands upon thousands of photos, um, and they're all very good. Um, shut the stock, yes, they want quality, um, and who can blame them, of course, because I want to sell these out to, to an audience. Um, but as I say, Adobe and um, and Alamy are more than happy to take images without shut the stock, won't. Uh, Alamy being a smaller platform. And Adobe Stock being very, very huge. And, and also, if you tag images already in um, Lightroom, um, they'll automatically pull through when you export them uh, via Photoshop uh, or as a JPEG or a PNG or, or whatever it is you want. And they will then upload into um, Adobe Stock straight away. Uh, I don't believe they do that to the other platforms, but I don't use um, Lightroom. And I'm trying to find out uh, if they will pull through from things like Darktable, Raw Therapy, or other raw editing software, if you were to add the um, the pixels, on, the um, keywords on there as well. Um, so they're my early experiences. Once I sell an image, I would love to do another video and tell you um, that I've done that. In the meantime, if you look up here, or possibly up here, you'll see a link to the um, previously that I did on um, changing eye color, uh, and, and a couple of ways that you can do that. Um, going forward, I've got lots more shoots that I'm going to be doing, lots more ideas. Um, I'm working with uh, a couple of local, or a local band, and hopefully that will lead to bigger and better. Um, but that's it. I just thought I'd share this with you. Short 10 minute video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. 
and hopefully the next thing I can report to you is when we sell an image which won't be long. Um, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and uh, you look after yourself. Okay guys, well I promised in the main video that there'd be more that I would show you uh, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go through some of the stock sites um, that I use uh, and I'm going to show you the platform. So this is Alamy. Uh, and once you signed up into Alamy, you can start uploading images um, almost straight away. Uh, so their, their turnaround time is usually two or three days. Um, but I have had images approved um, within a couple of hours. Um, Shutterstock is the best one for this. Uh, and Adobe Stock takes around about a week, which I'm finding to be quite accurate. So when you first log in, this is what you'll see. You'll see any images you've got on sale. I've currently got seven. You see images on sale with poor discoverability and that's slightly inaccurate and the reason being is that the image I'm going to show you and show you the process with has already been on sale. Uh, I've just marked it back to, to not on sale so it should really be here but it's, 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 it's actually here because I've taken all the keywords out. Um, and they can rule your sales and everything on here, uh, any sales history that you've had, um, any kind of account balance. It all ends up in new tabs it's easy to keep track of which I quite like. And if you were going to upload an image, you'd go here, and it's just the same as it would be in uploading images to anywhere else. Um, but we're not going to do that. I said I'd show you how keywords work on the site and how the process of getting an image um, is shown. So I've only been on the site for a couple of weeks, and so no sales as yet, but hopefully we can change that very, very quickly. So this is your um, area where all of your submissions or rejections are placed in. So I've had um, a couple rejected for software lacking definition. Uh, and on your first submission you do need all of the images to pass so if these two pass and they did um, but that one failed um, then they'll reject all the other images so these ones pass this image here with the cars will come back to you later you'll see that then i'll show you how to find that on lme um, but what we're going to do we're going to go back to the dashboard and we're going to go to the image which is currently not on sale um, and let's cut all the filters so we can see that so that's going to be this one um, now what I'm going to do is going to select all of these uh, and copy them and I'm going to delete them. So we're essentially starting from scratch as if we just uploaded the image. So the first thing you need to do is click to highlight it and you know you've highlighted it because you'll have a blue box. You can change your pseudonym to something else if you feel that you need to do that. Um, and what you need to do is add a caption for your image uh, and we're going to do that using man holding two black and white dice which is spelling is accurate and that boosts the graph along now you could um, copy and paste all the keywords in and I'm hoping this works um, I hit enter it may not. Oh and it has. Okay, that's excellent. So you could add all of your keywords from individually typing them in and clicking enter, that's time consuming. Um, if you've got them from uh, perhaps a Microsoft Word document, you can copy and paste them in. Uh, and the software is quite intuitive, so it will then separate them into individual keywords to boost your graph and increase the discoverability of the image. Um, now we've got 27 tags, you can have 50. Um, you don't have to have 50, um, you can have just a few. Uh, the ones in dark blue are common keywords and you can have super tags. Uh, I'd recommend having between maybe 10 and 25. Um, if you have more than that then you're essentially saturating or, or, or spamming your keywords and it's, it's no good trying to second guess what people are going to look for, your images won't come up. Um, try and avoid repetition as well, you notice I have done that with some of the words here. Because I've got the number version and the letter version uh, are the numbers that the die shows. Um, that's the only time I would duplicate. The rest of the time you want to search for things which people are going to look for. So if someone comes along and looks for holding black and white dice or black and white dice, here's where these would come in. So you've got, let's edit this one. Background blur, that is a new tag and you've got black and white. So someone coming onto the site could be looking for man holding two black and white dice, obviously we've got that as a keyword, man holding two gambling dice, man holding two gaming dice, they could come to the site and look for 
gaming dice 10 2 gaming dice etc you, you, you get the idea and that boosts when your image is on sale um, and you can come and remove the keywords to take an image off sale we can come and add as many keywords as, as you wanted to do so uh, when you're done um, pick your 10 super tags and these are the words that are going to get pushed to the forefront of searches and somebody comes on to anime um, it is a little bit of guesswork but you can sometimes think what people are going to be looking for so they're going to be looking for dice they might be looking for playing gambling gaming rolling for dice roll um, you see we've got six now um, perhaps they're looking for square dice because of course they can't come round um, close up male hand people might be searching for the more artistic project black and white so they tend to see for tags and they license type um, rights manager royalty free of course as you're probably already aware uh, rights manager music license based on specific usage and will be paid every time someone downloads an image or if you upload it as rights managed people can download the image for a particular size for a set fee it may not be what they want and you'll probably find you get paid less it recommends that you stay on the default option and I'd be inclined to agree with them there uh, and you have the optional tag and this is completely optional um, I've already done a little bit of work here, put the images taken, the lifestyle, um, there's no people in the image, um, there's no property in the image, um, is the image source in public domain? No it's not, is it exclusive to Anime? No it's not, um, as I've got up on another website and you can delete an image from here if you want, so that's the basics and that one I got for sale, any changes you make can take up to 48 hours so it won't be for sale immediately. Uh, and just going back to the image of the cars and showing you how Alamy would work. So if somebody comes on the website, perhaps they live in Norwich in Norfolk, and they're looking for um, Norwich cars, they come onto the site, search for Norwich cars, and there's the image. Um, now I don't know who took all of these other images. There's quite. You'd have to put this up as a, an editorial style photo because it has property, recognisable property in. Uh, and a car as well with a recognisable number plate um, that's quite cool because you can't really identify anything and the image I've put here, these could be in line of any cars uh, in any city in the UK, so that's how that one works um, Adobe stock works exactly the same, I've got an image of the um, Jurassic Coast on here which has been up for probably a day or two um, you can go to Adobe stock um, probably the biggest stock platform in the world and buy images in exactly the same way uh, you can get insights on how many images have been downloaded and, and what people are looking for at the moment um, what's selling so perhaps these are ideas to give you ideas for shoots um, perhaps you've already got some of these images laying around you can upload and make a little bit of money um, you've got your contributor account which has all your details on there uh, and a number of other things as well so yeah all, all very very good um, and the last one is Shutterstock, which I've talked about in the video, uh, and they'll upload in exactly the same way. Um, so I hope you found that very useful. Um, so once I've sold an image, I will come back to you and report on that. Uh, and then if you wanted anything else uh, you'd like me to talk about, please leave a, a comment below. Have you used a stock image website? Have you sold anything yet on a stock image website? Uh, how much money are you making? I'm not going to ask you that, but are you finding it easy to make money on there? And how long have you been on there? Has this got your interest? You know, it's, it's a very easy service. Um, yes, there are millions of pictures out there, but um, somebody's always looking for perhaps what you're selling. Uh, well, that's it for this one. I'll see you uh, in the next video. Uh, and uh, much love, and, uh, and you take care.